Hey guys, it's Lily here, and I'm back with another video, and I am on my laptop because I can be. Today, we're going to continue on with my life story, and we're going to talk about my school life, but we're going to separate the school life video because that's going to be a long one. So, we're going to do the early years, and then we're going to get to the dark years. So, anyways, as you guys know, I have autism, which... Pretty much means I function differently than most people, if that makes sense. I can't really explain it that well, and I'm too lazy to look up what it means. Because I know what it is, okay? It's just I'm not great at describing it. Anyways, because of that, I did have a lot of setbacks in my development years. Like, I didn't learn how to speak till I was four. I didn't learn how to walk till I was two or three. I don't know how old the average baby learns how to walk, but I know I was behind. I didn't learn how to ride my bike until I was 9, I didn't learn how to swim until I was 10, etc, etc. Because of my autism, my special education, I should say, not my actual education, started a little early. So, I had OT, which is Occupational Therapy. From kindergarten to second or third grade, I don't remember. And then I had physical training, PT. I had that from first grade to fourth grade, I believe. And then the one I had the longest, which is why I said I started early, speech therapy, where I work on, you know, my speech. That was from when I was a year and a half old, 18 months, and I just finished last year, so this past school year, I finished, so going into junior year, I will no longer have speech. Funny story though, when I was in speech when I was really, really young, the speech therapist would bring toys, so me being the savage I am, I didn't really focus, I just took the toys, Played in the corner. Didn't even bother saying hi to the therapist. Well, I couldn't. I couldn't speak. When it came time for me to go to preschool, I went to a preschool where it was pretty much, how do I explain this, an inclusion class. So there were people who were disabled, and there were people who weren't. And what I had there was, I actually had a music ther therapist. And... Looking back at it, it makes me want to become a music therapist if my Broadway career doesn't work out. Or while I'm winning for my big break, I can do that because I enjoyed that a lot when I was younger. And that's pretty much all I remember about preschool. I had friends and my preschool boyfriend. And then I eventually graduated and then switched from going to an inclusion class to a school. Well, you know, like a school, a elementary school. Okay, we're moving on. My autism doesn't make me an awkward talker. That's just what I am. So the old it. Anyway, kindergarten. So that was an interesting year. So remember when I said I was a savage? I was also kind of a bad person too. So in kindergarten, I stripped in front of my class. Not on purpose, it was my autism, because, like I said, I was highly functional, and I still kind of am, but only if, you know, I feel like it. But, yeah, I did that, and then I went to the guy's bathroom once. Not my proudest moment. But other than that, you know, I was just a bad kid. Because you know those like little circles, you know, red light, green light, red light? I was never on the green light. I was always on the yellow or red. Cannot tell you guys how many times. And it was because of my autism, not me. Because I'm sure if I didn't have my autism, I would probably be a... Yeah, I would still be a bad person. And then first grade came, and this is the important part of information. So, first grade came along... And I met this girl, and we're going to call her Ariana, for reasons. And we became very, very close friends, and we did everything together. And I was clinging to her, 
and I still am a clingy person, but I'm more mature, if you know what I mean. Back then, I was not mature. Like, I was clingy, I was clingy. Like, you can never get rid of me. I'm like an annoying brunette. Well, I am an annoying brunette, but I was definitely an annoying brunette back then. And one of the things that, you know, pretty much, not changed my life, but made a huge impact on my, no, it wasn't even that important. It's just something that happened that was probably one of the worst things I've ever done in school. I walked out of the classroom with my stuff going home twice. Back then, I hated school. I still don't like school, but I really hated school back then. So I literally went out of the room twice and left, kind of. I ended up getting suspended from school for a couple of days, and I was not allowed to go to the Halloween dance. It was around October that year, and I was so upset. And then I got grounded, of course, and I got my TV taken away, and I wasn't allowed to go outside. You know, back, or was that one of the ones? That was one of my punishments at one point, you know, back when going outside was not, was a punishment. But, because of that, instead of having a TV, I had a little iPod thingy, because back then we also had iPods. Not iPod touches, iPods. So, I had it right, I'm looking at it right now, my counter, I had it right where my TV, my old TV would be. And then I would put on Disney music and I would just dance around in my room. So one year has passed and now we're in second grade and this is also kind of an important year for me because I've met the most important person in my life, or one of them at least. And to this day, we are still friends. And some of you guys may know who I'm talking about. I am talking about my best friend in the whole entire world, Hannah. So, how we met was, it was the first day of school and her birthday, and she was new, and by new I mean she was there the year before, but our class was separated that year, so I had no idea who she was until um, we, you know, came and had a class together, or had a class together words today when we were in the same class so I went over there and I asked her hi you want to be my friend that's not how I sounded but that's how I sounded in my head and she said yes and to this day we are still inseparable and that was almost nine years ago nine years ago next week actually and you guys are going to be hearing her name a lot because she literally means the whole world to me. She's my best friend. We, we were inseparable, like I said, and to this day, you know, I could go to her for anything. She's my go-to person. If I'm ever, like, anxious or feeling down, I just text her and pray she texts me back. That year also... You know, since I made a new friend, and Ariana was also in my class that year, they butt heads a lot because they wanted my attention. And that's the first and only time that will ever happen. As a kid, you know, I didn't know what to do. I was an autistic child too. And that was actually the year I did find out I was autistic. But I didn't know what it meant because I was still a kid. Keep that in mind, by the way, when we get to the next part of the video. Then, near the end of the year, I found out that my friend Ariana was actually going to be leaving my school. And third grade year, she wasn't going to be there. And I was sad, but, you know, at least I still had Hannah. And that is it for this video. That was pretty much, you know, the first couple years of my school life. In my next video of this series... We're going to talk about the dark years, and I didn't want to talk about them in this one just because I didn't want this video to be an hour long. 
I hope you guys did enjoy this video though. If you do, please leave a like and let me know down below if you guys want to see more of my life story. If you guys want to get to the dark years. Also, watch the verse video if you haven't already. There wasn't really anything that important that, you know, was in this video that was in the last one. Other than it, uh, to some facts, but we all knew that already. So, let me know. Take two. I'm keeping this in because I'm pausing and going the little camera thingy. That's the only reason why I'm keeping it in. Otherwise, I would cut it out. But you guys love to see my mistakes, so let's keep it rolling. Let's get this outro over with. Anyways, watch the first video. I will put the link in the description box below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram at LilyGrocco underscore official. And my Twitter at LilyG underscore official. I will post on there eventually. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And I'm sorry I screwed up a lot in this video. But I will see you guys in the next one. We're all probably still screw up. Bye!